Hey guys, today we're installing the proprietary NVIDIA drivers on Fedora Workstation 42. So we start off by LS modding and grepping for NVI. We can see the proprietary drivers not installed. But when we grep for NOU, we can see the open source driver is installed. So you see there, a bunch of modules. Um, there's the Nuevo or however you pronounce it driver. So we're going to go ahead and say DNF install. And we're going to install these this RPM Fusion repository. And so we're going to type in our password here, and this should go pretty quick because it's just a repo. There we go. It says nothing to do, and that's because I already installed this for something else I did before. But if you hadn't already installed these, this is a step that you have to do. So same thing, a second RPM Fusion uh, repo needs to be installed, and nothing to do because I already did it previously before recording this video. But if you haven't done it, again, you're going to have to run that command. So we're going to check inside our Etsy yum.repos.d directory and see a bunch of RPM Fusion repos defined here. So just something I wanted to show you. Yeah, there's one of the non-free ones right there that we installed. That actually, that one was already installed um, because I checked a box, uh, a button during the installation process, but the other ones were installed by me installing those packages. So that one NVIDIA repo may be enough to get that driver. I'm not sure, but I generally just install all of the RPM Fusion stuff. So here we're doing a DNF update of our system. It's recommended, not required, but recommended. So doing a full system upgrade. And there we go. Did an upgrade. Now we're going to reboot. Fast forward it here. We're logging back in. We booted back up into the system. And here we go. So one thing I wanted to point out, there is AK mod NVIDIA. This is recommended. That's what I'm going to use. There's also NVIDIA dash driver, two different drivers. The NVIDIA dash driver is pre-built but it won't work after a kernel upgrade unless you have a pre-built version for that specific kernel. Whereas the AK mod NVIDIA will rebuild it anytime you uh, have a newer kernel installed. So we're gonna use that one because it builds it for us. It takes a little bit longer, but it's better. So we're just going with that. It's not a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and install AK mod dash NVIDIA. Unless you're in some huge hurry, use this one. So anyways, I'm gonna install this going pretty quick. I sped this part up. It took a little bit longer actually, and almost there. And here we go. So now we're gonna also install this Xorg X11 DRV NVIDIA CUDA. This is for CUDA support. It's optional, you don't need it, but I like to install it. So I'm, in, I'm also installing that. And now that we have that installed, we are gonna go ahead and take a look at, well, first we're gonna reboot. And then we're going to take, we're going to verify and take a look at a few other things I wanted to show you. So we've rebooted, kind of fast forwarded that booting process, log back in and moving along here, going to open our terminals back up. And here we go. So LS mod grep for NVI. We see the proprietary driver is installed there. NVIDIA underscore DRM, NVIDIA mode set, and NVIDIA. So we, we grep for the open source driver and it is no longer there. So we're, we're going to actually go ahead and take a look at these uh, NVIDIA DRM drivers. But first, I'm going to quick show you NVIDIA SMI output. You going to adjust this so you can actually see the output on the screen really quick here. And not nothing too exciting here, but I, I just kind of wanted to uh, be able to show you this. And it's not all there we go. So now we can scroll up and uh, show you all of the stuff. Um, nice output there. If you want to look for information uh, about your driver, you can see the version and, and you know, the video card you have and a bunch of other nice details, which is all fine and great. Nothing we really need right now. So next I wanted to all right, get this adjusted again, clear the screen out. All right, so um, LS modding for the, the driver again, and this is what I want to show you, mod info for each of these kernel modules. So each of these things that are listed is a kernel module. So we're going to look at NVIDIA DRM first, not a ton of output, but it shows you the version of that kernel module. It shows you the path to the actual file for the kernel module. There's our kernel version that it was built for, and there is basically the, the kernel release, Fedora or whatever. Um, so Anyways, now this one we're checking mod info for just the NVIDIA module. So right there, there's the full path, kernel version, kernel build version, etc. Um, shows you right where it is, and it shows you the version for this module, the same version, right? And let's see, we can do the same thing here for 
All right, let's see. Yeah, I think, I think that's all we really need to look at for that. So next thing I wanted to show you is this file right here. We're, we're not gonna do this, but by default, the driver supports Wayland and optionally you can disable Wayland support for X11 if you want. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna show you where you can configure that. So you would go into this file right here and it's actually right here up near the top because it's actually a small file, but Wayland enable equals false. Uncomment that to set Wayland to false. Then you're gonna have X11 support instead of Wayland. Um, just something I wanted to show you, I'm not doing that. And it, if you do change that, you're gonna reboot. So one more thing I wanted to show you, there are NVIDIA, there are optional NVIDIA uh, video codec libraries for video acceleration. You don't need these, but this will um, allow for uh, hardware acceleration um, for certain applications. So this is kind of a good idea to install these, but it, it, it is optional. So there you go, we've got those installed. And now we're gonna verify this, just the VI info command or VAI or yeah, VA info. And you, you can see um, basically all the info that it dumps out, nothing too crazy or exciting. And we're gonna verify VDP. Yeah, yeah, see we, we have uh, output for this. Um, nothing too exciting here. Just stuff I kind of wanted to show you how to do and you know that you can do it. So scrolling up through this, and then there's one other thing I'm gonna to wanna to show you after this. It does give you info about your driver and stuff and, and you know the shared libraries, that's all fine and great. So moving along, one last thing I wanted to show you are these, uh, these environment variables. Now these are helpful for certain applications. It's like certain things do actually need them, like um, FFmpeg apparently and MPV and also OBS. If you want hardware acceleration, you're going to want to set these environment variables. So just worth being aware. If you're not, if you're having performance issues with those, you might want to set these variables. And that's it. So hopefully you found this useful. Might want to give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave a comment down below if uh, you know something I, I don't know. And you might want to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get notified when we come out with new videos. Uh, we're doing a lot more vi similar videos to this one, a lot of Linux stuff and a ton of, we also do Windows, Mac OS and other stuff. We're doing hardware, software, 3D printing, robots, Raspberry Pis, all that great stuff you want in your YouTube feed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. But that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.